Good day guys, in today's video we're going to show you how to set up a motion sensor now. This motion sensor supports 12 volt and 24 volt. Uh, don't go over 24 volt when you're powering this up. Now basically you can use an AC adapter as you see right there. And if you need extra length, always use some cheap speaker wiring like that. And it works pretty well. Now we are going to be using a battery pack to do this one, which is actually really cool when you do it through battery pack. That way you don't need to use main power. And basically this will power up by USB. So we'll show you how that all works in just a minute. So yes, with when you power up for the motion sensor, you can choose to use a downlight or just LED strips, anything you want, but make sure the max is 24 volts. If it goes anything over, it will not work. So yeah, that's basically all you have to do now. So now we're gonna just plug in the USB and show you the light does power up, and then we'll show you it all working on the motion sensor on how to configure that and that's pretty simple as well now when you do it with a battery pack what the cool thing is there if you charge it by usb with main power what you can do right there if the power goes out the battery pack will still have charge so if someone still walks through your house those lights will still turn on because it has the battery pack power and that normally lasts up to 22 hours which, which is pretty cool right there now we have the important stuff. So you got your output and your input. Now this can only go up to 24 volts. Do not go any higher or you will fry the circuit and you'll fry the motion sensor too. So this is the power supply. So that needs to go into our input. So we'll plug in that in. So obviously um, we need to work out where positive and negative is. So it looks like, um, so we'll put the positive in and then the negative, and then we need to screw that up with the screwdriver. Um, we'll pause the video and we'll come back. And for our output, we need to plug in the light. So that can be the down light, or it can be LED strips, or in this case, we have a little tiny LED light. So again, that has to be positive and negative as well. If you mix them up, the light just won't turn on. It won't actually break the box, the uh, motion sensor. It just, the light just will not turn on. So basically, we need to um, redo the screwdriver, tighten the wires up, so it's all um, confirmed and no wires can move. As you see, the light does turn on when we power up the battery pack. So now what we'll do is we'll get a screwdriver and tighten up those screws. Now what we'll do is we'll see if the light successfully turns on. So at the moment the light is on. Um, it's very hard to see, but the light is on, but you'll see as soon as it turns off. So we'll, we'll wait about a minute because I have the option on a minute. So the light should turn off in one minute. So we'll just see how that goes. Now I have got it faced away. So when I move, yeah, there we go. The light's off now. So now that's turned off. So the motion sensor has now turned off. So that's great right there. And to turn it back on, all we have to do is make some sensor or move it there. Now it turns out because there's no power going on the motion sensor, it's actually turned off my battery pack as well. So what we have to do now is turn back on the battery pack. Okay, and now the motion sensor will turn back on. Um, basically, there we go, you've got power back on again. If you're using a battery pack, some battery packs, if there's no not enough power going into the motion sensor, the battery pack will turn off, which is a bit annoying. That's why sometimes it's better using an AC adapter, like I showed in the beginning of the video. So it's best to use um, adapters like that. That way it always will turn on. So if you're wondering what the AC adapter is, it's basically that power one right there where the arrow is. That is your AC adapter. Do not use anything else, higher voltage. Um, this will not electrocute you at all. It may buzz you but it will not electrocute you, not 12 volt. Other ways of powering this up is a 12 volt solar panel, which you can get on Wish and that's pretty reliable, but it will turn off when it hits dark. So if there's no sun, the 12 volt uh, sensor will not work. So you can use this 12 volt power um, solar panel, but as soon as it goes dark, um, that will not work. So yeah, that's basically everything in today's video. I just wanted to make sure that you use I recommend you just use 12 volts. Don't go any higher than 24, or you will fry the system. And um, if you don't know what you're doing, well, this sort of setup, is, professionals can't really do this sort of setup. This is basically something you DIY do. If you want any professionals do it, uh, you would have to go to more of an advanced system. So thanks again for watching Ozstar. And if you have any questions at all, let us know down below, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe today, and we'll catch you guys next time.